Hello, this is Vladimir from We Design Motion. Today, I'll show you how to create this retro sci-fi text animation in After Effects. Let's begin. I'll create a new composition and call it Retro Sci-Fi. Then add a text layer. Put it in the center. Go to the Animation menu and add a wiggly selector. Add an opacity parameter and set it to 25. Set the words as a base and increase the wiggles per second up to 3. Duplicate the animator and change the based on to characters. Now we have some cool blinking on the text. Go to the animation menu again and add an opacity parameter. Set it to 0. Add an offset keyframe at frame 0 and set it to negative 100. Go forward 40 frames and set it to 100. Select the both keyframes and easy ease them. Set the shape to ramp up, both eases to 25, and randomize the order. So far, so good. Add a drop shadow effect. This will be our glow. I'll set it to white to see how it's working. Set the opacity to 80, direction to 180, distance to 0, and softness to 20. Duplicate the effect and increase the softness to 100. Duplicate again, lower the opacity down to 40, and set the softness to 300. Add a fill effect. I'll set it to bright red pink. Okay, looks great. Add a new solid and call it displacement map. Add a fractal noise effect. Set the contrast to 200 and brightness to negative 50. Turn off uniform scaling and set the width to 10,000 and height to 75. Alt-click on the evolution stopwatch and type time multiply 400. Now the noise is animated. Turn the layer off and put it on the bottom. Select the text layer and add a displacement map effect. Put it on top of the effect stack. Set the map to the displacement map layer and select effects and masks instead of source. Set the horizontal displacement to 30 and vertical to zero. This adds some cool bad TV vibes. Duplicate the displacement map layer and call it background. Turn it on and delete the fractal noise. Add a gradient ramp effect. I'll set the start color to a dark gray shade and the end color even darker. Duplicate the background layer and rename it to particles. Delete the gradient ramp effect. Next, add CC starburst. The starburst particles are black because the layer is black, so I'll add a fill effect. I'll make it purple. Let's set the particle's size to 50, scatter to 450, and speed to 0.5. Looks great. Duplicate the particle's layer and call it light. Put it on top. Delete the effects and add fractal noise. Set the noise type to spline. Contrast to 200 and brightness to negative 50. Increase the scale up to 1200 and lower the complexity down to 1.5. Alt-click on the evolution stopwatch and type time multiply 200. After that, let's add a tint effect to color it. I'll just copy and paste the purple color from the particles layer. Set the light blending mode to screen, press T to reveal the opacity and set it to 40. Looks good. Add an adjustment layer. Let's call it FX. Add a motion tile effect and turn on mirror edges. Alt click on the tile center stopwatch. Type Y equals wiggle parentheses 5 comma 10. Then square brackets with one. On the next line, square brackets value square brackets 0 comma and Y. With this expression, we are adding a random wiggle motion only to the y-axis without changing the x-value. Next, let's add an exposure effect. Alt-click on the exposure stopwatch and type wiggle parentheses 5 comma 1. We are doing this for a random light flickering. Good. Now let's add some blur. Add a camera lens blur effect. 
set the blur radius to zero and alt click on the stopwatch. Type wiggle parentheses five comma 10 for random blur animation. Let's add some noise. Add a fractal noise effect. Set the scale really low, I'll make it three. I'll click on the evolution stopwatch and type time multiply 20 hundred. Set the fractal noise opacity to 50 and change the blending mode to overlay. To get that retro screen look, we'll use a grid effect. Set the size from to width slider. Lower the width down to 6 and border down to 0.5. Set the color to black and blending mode to normal. Finally, let's add a posterized time effect. I'll set it to 15 frames per second to get a choppy, old school look. Now let's check out the finished piece. Looks pretty cool, right? Don't be afraid to play around with colors and effects to get different results. If you enjoyed this, tap the like button and subscribe to stay updated with more videos. Thanks for watching and happy editing. See you soon.